Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're wondering why I'm showing you a funny shredding machine here, I bought myself a present. It's a garden shredder to chop up refuse and make mulch for the garden. The catch is I bought the 400 volt three phase version. So this monster here needs a special plug. It has a three phase socket here. So three phases neutral and earth on that socket, right? I don't have a three phase socket though. So my plan is to drill through here. There's a distribution board just the other side of this wall and plan not to hit the cables here for the internet and the alarm. And then I'm going to mount a three phase socket just down here. So now I'll take you inside. Right, so we're inside the room. Here is the distribution board. This is a separate entertainment room from the house. So there's no RCD protection because the house main board has the RCD protection. But you can see here the color coding coming through. This is South African old wiring. So we have red, white, blue there coming through on the bottom, actually. This is the, from the kitchen board. Okay, so this isolator here will switch off this board. And it's strange, it's the only time I see us ever feed electricity backwards up that way. By regulations, as far as I know, we have to have the power always go through the top and out the bottom. So it should normally flow from top to bottom and back round in there. But in this case, this has been done many, many years ago and I'm not changing it. It's, it's going to be a hassle to change that round and it works fine. So right now I have to then get a three-phase breaker in on the side here. These are old Heinemann breakers, which are rather big. So the new breakers, I'll have to put an adapter plate in. There's, I'll put two of them in actually on the side there. And they will reduce that down into what we call Samite connections on the back there. So there's my three-phase with 20 amp breaker. And that's going to go in on the side there. I'll have to put each of the phases in there and then they'll come out. And then I'm going to have to come out, I think, the bottom of the board there and then here somewhere through the wall to get the cable to the outside. So I'll show you that once I've actually got going a bit further. Right, so welcome back. I've now put the socket on the wall. You can see there I had to drill through the wall and unfortunately it's in the corner inside but it's come through between the pipes on the outside so there's not much I can do there. So I'll have to plaster that and paint there and then just secure that down. But you can see here we have our three phases and neutral and earth cable. These are the South African colors, red, yellow, blue, black for neutral and the earth. And here is the socket. It has to be a female socket, of course. So that's the female socket with the earth at the bottom. And on the back here, you'll see it's very easy to install they label them for you, line one, line two, line three. So red is line one, yellow line two, blue line three, and then the neutral over here by my thumb and earth at the bottom. So to connect those in, and then I'll put that on and show you on the inside. Right, so here's the socket now all connected up. You can see there line one, line two, line three, and earth. And I've deliberately made the cable quite long, just in case, I never know if I, have a change or something coming up but shouldn't be but there just in case for future right so here's the final shot you can see the cable coming in there just to be tightened up and you can see there is a three-phase breaker with the three colors I've left a bit of slack on those just in case I should have maybe on the neutral too but we can always shift that down a bit and then on the top they are color-coded correctly so the red is to the red and then the white at the back there and the blue to the blue. So that way at least the color coding goes through correctly to the plug outside. So now the phase rotation should be correct on this. And uh, yeah, it's just to test out the machine now and see that it's actually working. So here's the machine and uh, with my cable there, I've given it a test run just to see that it was working. And there's the cable that I made before in my other video. Have a look on my channel for the other video. And you can see here is the machine. And then it's got a setting for two different types of materials. So that's 
green material, you turn it over and the indicator changes when you turn the machine on. Have a listen to this. Three phase power. That's like hardly an argument to start. And it just runs. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel. Check out what else I'm up to. Um, more videos coming soon on all sorts of different topics. Thanks guys for watching. See you soon.